Good morning, it's Bill McCarthy again, Southwest Indian Foundation. We're on a little road trip this morning. We're going up to the ancestral birthplace and grounds of Harry and Isabel Benali. It is a the big aspen. See? I take a chainsaw and I slice them. When I slice it, then I break it down to smaller pieces. Everything I do, I, I create myself. I find something that that I need to put out. That's what I do. I, I live about another three miles that way. And that's mm -hmm. where all the big aspen trees are at. And the fire went through there in 2013 and burned all the aspen and you know, it cured them. They're still standing, but they're not black. The bark all came off, and that's what I cut, and I haul it to my studio. And when I got out of high school, I was a carpenter in California, Long Beach, California. And one day I went to Los Angeles, and I seen this, um, a Marine come up by me, and I seen his uniform. And I, I really fell in love with the uniform. So I asked him, how did he get into the uniform? And he says, come on, come on, brother, I'll show you. So I followed him, and he got me to the recruiter. And that was the end of it. All my carvings, they represent my late mother. Her name was May. She's right here, and then she's right there with all the line hide. And see, the actual folk art carving is from a, a traditional which is, uh, it was done by an old medicine man. They never put face or, they just take a stick and they put a marking on it. That's why the faces aren't really realistic when you look at it. Mm. More of a, I want them all, I don't want them looking. I want them uh, sleeping mm. or praying. That's why their eyes are always closed every carving that I do. That's part of my mark. So now that you're familiar with the work of Harry and Isabel Benali, uh, check out Southwest Indian Foundation or our next catalog and you might be interested. So uh, southwestindian.com. So hit that like and subscribe button and perhaps you'd even like to, to comment. And uh, once again, while we're immersed in beauty here, May you always walk in beauty.